There's been a lot of change made to Odin over the last several months, and we wanted to try a new style of video, covering some of what we think are the most important or noteworthy fixes and new features. We'll be looking at changes to the entire suite of Odin tools, including Odin Serializer, Inspector, and the Validator. If you want to see every change, fix, or addition, we'll put a link to the complete patch notes in the description below. When installing Odin Validator, it's important that you have a matching version of Odin Spectre, which used to be an issue. Now when installing Odin Validator, we'll make sure that you have the correct version of Odin Spectre and prompt you to update Odin Spectre if needed. It's worth noting that this will only work with newer versions of Odin Validator due to how the feature is implemented. All Odin buttons now feature icons. Add some polish and make your inspectors much cleaner and easier to use. Over 1500 icons to pick from with the ability to align to the left or the right of the text or to the edge of the button. SDF icons will now also render better at lower resolutions. Buttons aren't the only element to get icons. Label text, suffix label, and info message box now all support icons. A great example of using icons in a custom inspector is a floor builder by Christina Creates Games. The icons make for a cleaner and easier to use interface. Her recent devlog video, which we've linked in the description below, shows her editor in action. Icons will also be coming to more places in future Odin releases, including enums and tabs. When an error occurs, the only way for the validator to know about it is to have some level of background validation running. To help fine tune and customize what's happening in the background, there are several options in the setup wizard in the configuration step. The validator can be set to constantly validate open scenes and assets, or only validate open scenes and not assets, as this can prevent performance issues from having to load assets in order to validate them. We can also choose just to validate the objects that you're currently working on, or if you want to just scan occasionally, you can also set the validation to only run when the validator window is open. If you choose this option, the validator widget will turn gray when there's no validator window open. And lastly, there's the option to more fully customize the validation options, which brings up more options, such as validation on the deletion of a game object or asset. There are also options to run validation when the project loads or when a new scene is loaded. Odin Serializer enables designers to serialize and work with almost any type representable in C-sharp. This typically requires a runtime feature referred to as just-in-time compilation to generate new types and generic variants on the fly at runtime to do performance serialization. This is not supported on ahead-of-time platforms and build configurations. Odin can solve this by scanning your entire project during build for types serialized by Odin and make sure they are known ahead of time so Unity's ahead-of-time build process will not strip necessary types and will generate code for all necessary generic variants. We have now deduplicated the asset scanning process so that a single asset will only ever be scanned at most once during the scan, instead of once per time it is referenced by something else. This makes the scan much faster, and in extreme cases, 10 to 100 times faster. A scene validator is a great way to make sure that a scene is set up correctly and has all the required components. For example, you might want to ensure that something like an audio manager exists in a scene, or we might also want to enforce naming conventions so that all of our scenes are set up in similar fashions. And this works, and it works well, but when you click on the validator message, nothing much happens. That is unless you make use of one of the new extension functions. We now have the extension function set selection object, which easily extends our validation result. The function takes in the game object that will be selected when the validation message is selected in the validator window, making the scene validator that much more useful and easier to use. The second new extension function enables rich text in validation messages, allowing further customization of the displayed messages. To use this, we simply need to add the extension function to a result and then add in our rich text tags to our validation message. For example, we could add bold text or color to our audio manager messages. We also want to mention the new option to scan scene dependencies. For example, maybe in your project you want to limit the size of textures being used with a custom validator, like this one. But you don't want it to validate all assets in your entire project. With this new option, you can exclude assets from validation and instead enable the Include Asset Dependencies option. This way, only the assets that are used in the scenes will be validated, and now, as soon as we make use of a texture that is too large and save the scene, the texture will be validated and will get the validation message letting us know we are using a texture that is too large. That's it for now. As always, if you find a bug or would like a feature added to one of our Odin products, we'd love to hear from you. You can leave a comment on the video, or better yet, come over to the Odin Discord. There's a link in the description below.